What is yin and yang? This is one of the most common things in Chinese culture or in Chinese medicine. Yin and yang is very much sort of a, the words to describe two opposite things uh, in nature or in life. Uh, they can also interact and can be interchangeable. Say for example, if you say day in the night, so we call it day because it's bright so and it's warmer, so we call it yang. Opposite night is dark and it's cold, so we call it yin. Same again, it's like sort of so-called, you know, high and low. Yeah, some area today may be very high and other area can be low. But the high area can never be always high because if you're too high, the wind will blow and gradually, gradually bring this, whatever, the mountain or the, 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 the hill, slowly, slowly, they will become sort of flattened. All this sand, the stone or earth eventually will drop into the low place. So, so therefore the high things can change to low and it slowly, slowly low things will become sort of uh, grow up, become high. So this also we call this, this can change. So, and because that just, just naturally happen, regardless how you're thinking, what you do, you will change and you will become like this yin and yang and the both sides of everything will be depend on each other, interchange each other, interact each other and so on. In, in Chinese people's life, that's why some days, some years, if you have a bad year, and uh, maybe everything going down so we say well we have to be you know be positive and um, maybe next year or sometime later things go change to up so and the uh, opposite if sometimes if you're really lucky you know and uh, have some kind of luck to do business or or making money or even something even you achieve something so that time you have to be quite sort of a careful be humble and don't not over sort of enjoy it otherwise if you don't take care and things can, can go wrong and then you go down so this is exactly this philosophy has been sort of influenced Chinese life for a long time and in terms of Chinese medicine this is exactly how we treat the people because we always believe there's no such illness will, will, will be with you forever or no good health with you be forever if you don't take care. So if you has to, you have to follow this yin and yang change. You have to make sure your body always be prepared and always looking forward to see something, you know, to prevent some illness to happen. And that is make you healthier and happier.